run. Run fast. You bitches. You will die and this forest will never let you go anyway. Hi, my name is Jane. This story happened to me in my father's village. In the north of Hungary. The village of Harvina was a rather large settlement. Not many families lived there, they all lived together, communicated, farmed, harvested crops from the fields. But one day infants began to go missing in the village. At first, the villagers could not understand who could steal their children and why someone would want it. The children's parents were heartbroken as they suffered such a loss. A year later, it was early autumn and dusk. A crowd of people were marching along the road, some carrying axes, some carrying guns, some carrying torches. They were all heading at a brisk pace toward a house that stood at the edge of the village, a little apart from the others. In that house lived an old woman named Marika. Everyone in the village knew her. Many people turned to her for help when someone close to them was sick. Marika gave various infusions and herbal teas. Made amulets for protection against evil spirits. People were very superstitious at that time. She was a kind and responsive woman. Everyone loved her in the village. About three years ago Marika's husband died. They had no children and she was left alone. The woman endured such grief very hard. Did not leave the house for days and nights. In the windows of her house no light was on. She completely withdrew into herself. She became angry and unkind to people. People said that at night Marika began to come to the cemetery, to the grave of her husband, and hold some kind of ritual there to raise him from the dead. Residents initially indulged in such rumors. They say a woman of age, from the grief and loneliness of her sanity shaken. Marika began to go to the forest Brandevere and spend a very long time there. Sometimes her hikes lasted a whole day. She returned from the woods always haggard, badly emaciated. Residents who saw it all became uncomfortable, and different questions began to arise in his mind, and then the babies began to disappear. One day the local men went hunting in the woods to hunt wild boars. They followed long distances and there were no traces of animals and birds had disappeared somewhere. They reached the Brandevere bogs. Somewhere there were dead trees. Everywhere impassable swamp and moss-covered mounds. It was said that people accused of witchcraft had been drowned there a hundred years ago. Suddenly one of the hunters shouted, Look! pointing his finger somewhere in the direction of the swamps. There was a small moss-covered island about 50 meters from the hard ground, but there was no vegetation except a couple of rotten trees. In the center of the islet stood a wooden statue, a terrible ancient deity was depicted in its guise. At the top, at the level of the head of the statue, Decapitated black roosters were tied on the sides, and judging by the brown dried stains, the entire idol was covered with blood. Beside the statue of the deity, by a small fire, with her back to them, Marika sat on her knees. She was muttering something unintelligible, getting louder and louder in her devilish chanting. She lifted the now-dead infant above her, on outstretched arms, and, shouting her last words, threw the little body into the fire. The flames flew high up. Sparks flew in different directions, and the smoke from the fire began to settle on the ground, blanketing the whole island. 
All this said one thing, the ancient deity was accepting a sacrifice. The hunters were horrified by what they saw. And one of them, the younger one, could not control himself and shouted as hard as he could. Marika turned at the scream and saw the three men, running as fast as they could away from the swamps. The witch rummaged in her rag not tied on her belt. She took out a small handful of some kind of powder. She whispered an incantation in an unknown language and blew hard on her palm toward the fleeing hunters. A cloud of powder flew into the air. A witch's face began to smile wickedly. Run! Run! You bitches! This forest won't let you go, Marika said. If you liked the story, please subscribe and like. Till tomorrow.